The Racers hosted Missouri State Saturday night, but came up just short as they lost 28-22. The Racers struggled offensively as they turned the ball over four different times with three interceptions and one fumble. And I know this doesn't matter much, but I thought our kids played hard. I thought they played all four quarters. Um, obviously, I mean, we get a we get an onside kick there at the end, and we got a chance to go score. Um, and I really think that our kids believe that we were going to do that. Um, but if we keep if if we keep turning the ball over, um, like we're doing, we're not going to be very successful. We're not going to be a very successful football team. So I can tell you, um, I haven't seen a whole lot of stats, but I can tell you this: if, if we don't stop that stat right there. Um, then we're going to have some problems moving forward. We, we've got to do that. We've got to clean that area up. I mean, we had some explosive plays in the air. You know, we had the fade ball down there close. We had the big 55-yard uh, 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 touchdown play on, on the little, you know, on the little route down the seam right there. Um, you know, but uh, you know, we've, we've got to start popping some explosive uh, plays in the run game and get those running backs feeling good, feeling comfortable. Get that offensive line feeling good and, 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 and comfortable right there in the run game. Because I've said this in every press conference that I've ever been to, if you can't run it, you can't throw it. If you can't throw it, you can't run it. Um, and right now we've got to find some balance there. You know, I'm a little frustrated though. Our screen game was not very good. I didn't think it was where it needed to be. We, we made some bonehead mistakes on the screen game um, that we've got to get cleaned up. Um, you know, just some things like that. But, um, you know, those type of things, the timing and all that, I knew that was going to happen. I, I made no secret about that. When you've got a young team like we do, it's going to take a little a little while for those guys to gel together. We just got to work through it. That was a, a huge point of emphasis on the sideline. That was a huge point of emphasis at halftime um, is containing that quarterback because we're giving them too many easy uh, we're giving them too many easy plays. Uh, I did not think we pressured the quarterback very well. Um, I thought he had way too much time to sit back there um, at times. Uh, you know, so those are some, some things that we've got to improve on. We got to improve on protecting our quarterback and getting after theirs. Whatever it is, it's got to get fixed because he's getting he's getting hit on the ground too much. Um, you know, I do think he's doing a great job not letting it affect him uh, for the most part. With some of those throws that are wide open throws that, that hit in the ground, I think uh, you know just fundamentally right now he's he's not he's not doing the things that, that he needs to do. And, and I don't know if that's because he gets hit or he feels like he's going to get hit. I don't know. But uh, we, we've got our work cut out for us moving forward um, in the turnover battle as well as the third down battle right there. But I will say this about these, these, this group of young men that I got in that room. Uh, they're up for that challenge now. I mean, uh, we just met and you could see it in their face. Uh, they were ready to go back to work. If I, would, if, if I would let them, they'd probably watch the game tonight. They'd probably go into meeting rooms tonight. And they want to get uh, they get they want to get to work on SIU as, as fast as possible, which is a, a huge positive, especially when you're dealing with so many young guys. The racers will travel to Southern Illinois University next week as they take on the Salukis at 6 p.m. The next home game will be September 24th as it's family weekend against the Southeast Missouri State Redhawks. I'm Mark McFarland with the news.